You know, back in the late 50s or the early 60s, uh, ASGC members, uh, Bob Graves out of California, Jeff Cornish, you know, both were very well known. They pushed the idea of the design triangle. And not that it was always, you know, maintenance, playability, aesthetics. And, but depending on where you're going, that triangle, you know, would lean one way or the other, maybe go almost flat. If you have a high plane uni, obviously you'd lean it all the way over to maintenance. We got to the 80s and everybody seemed to have a lot of money and everybody wanted to win awards. And we got away from that balance, but I still use that old uh, thing as a, as a way to kind of explain people, uh, let's look at the big picture first. The more they understand about design and how the maintenance equipment work within the design, then they can say, well, we can't afford that mower. We like the way this looks, we can reduce labor. Bunkers that have, or side slopes of greens that are very steep require more manual labor. Anything that you can that you can mow or maintain that has a piece of equipment attached to it that covers a lot of area will help keep the budget lower. William Flynn, for example, was trained as an engineer and around all of his great greens and everything are these wonderful swales. People might think they're part of the design of the strategy, and they are, but they're more a part of getting the water to flow away from the green. So those things, sometimes you can, you have to work with club members to understand those principles. But when you understand them, then it's like, ah, aha. So the superintendent can relay to the architect what his concerns are um, and, and uh, you know, how the architect can respond to those. They've been in a lot of different situations. They can re uh, relay to the superintendent, well, here's what we've seen in the past at Project A or Project B, uh, and here's how we've solved some of these problems. I really think that sometimes the best club education is when we can take people into the field or go to a course where something's already been successful and look and see and meet people. Um, I just, I've just had much more success from that hands-on.